here. But maybe just sit with your non-habitual leg forward. You guys hear me okay? We'll probably start the playlist if you're doing that right after a little bit of pranayama. So you can have that handy. So just start to take some shoulder shrugs. I saw an interesting, um, I'm part of this yoga therapy group. You can uh, play with your neck a little bit on Facebook. And they were talking about how it's so interesting in yoga, we usually wake up from top to bottom rather than bottom to top. So I'm gonna start thinking about that because I was like, oh my gosh, I've never even had that thought. But today we'll stick with starting up by the brain. Good, and then just let the eyes close. Uh, make sure you're absolutely comfortable if you need props. I'm gonna count the breath for you this morning with the number five, so you don't have to count yourself. Just be kind of like brought into this peaceful state of a longer, deeper breath. So take a nice exhale out through the mouth. And then inhale, five, four, Three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Through the nose, if you can inhale, five, four, three, two, one, spine getting taller, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, two more rounds. You can do it on your own and start to just notice your belly and the engagement. One more. Empty it out while well, you're still breathing, but not necessarily counting. Just take the chin lightly in and the hands to the heart. And just think of this phrase of being completely limitless. So I think especially during quarantine, we've all kind of made these lists of self-improvement, life improvement. Like we can take these incremental steps towards something else or someone else. But I want you to feel how you are just limitless, how you are, and it's just that remembering that is the actual change. And that is so dorky, I know, and hard and fast, but I think on the path of yoga, we get to the point where we realize, wow, that's actually true. So your inner drishti, your gaze is going right to that heart, feel that limitlessness, that potential that these poses are here to just remind us of. We'll see if we can't make that more available as we step into this holiday weekend. Exhale, release your hands, open those eyes. Saying limitlessness is really hard. We won't say that in poses. Okay, we're gonna push play. So if you're taking that background soundtrack, I'm gonna go ahead and count down from three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna start with our wrists. So just take your wrists out. We'll do thumbs in first, actually. So go thumbs in, fingers on top, and then just take some circles. So shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed. Get out that computer stuff. And then switch, fingers in first, thumbs on top, couple circles. 
So we've been focusing a lot in the vinyasas I've been teaching on strong, strong poses. I will do strong poses today, but they won't be necessarily focused on one thing. It's just going to be super well-rounded, okay? Good. Now reach those arms out in front of you. Flex your wrist, point your fingers up. So what we're going to do is spend a lot more time in seated poses towards the end and supine poses, something I haven't been giving you a lot of. So I will limit how hard we work in the middle. Now take your arms out wide and feel your shoulder blades start to pull towards each other. Okay, so middle traps. Then bring the arms back until your shoulder blades pull apart the push. You can round the back a little bit. It's kind of like a feeling of plank and then a feeling of like warrior two arm expansion. No higher than the shoulders. Couple more, so you push, get those serratus to fire. Inhale, get those middle traps to fire. Michelle, can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay. Last one, then we're gonna stay in the wide. And we're gonna move into some flossing, okay? So when you're ready, you're gonna turn your, and I'm not mirroring you, so I'll do it to the side. You're gonna turn your left fingertips down, right fingertips more towards you, left ear to left shoulder. And you just switch, you guys know this one. Fingers down, left fingers up, right ear to right shoulder. Median nerve glides, couple more. Yes, your arms might be getting tired. We're working the delts right now. So mostly your middle delt. But use your core, use your breath. Last one. I guess we started with left fingertips down, I think, right? Either way, shake it out. Lift those arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. One more like that, just nice and smooth. Feel that gliding of your shoulder blades. Good. Taking a little detour, I want you to come down onto your back now, and we're gonna wake up the belly with a bridge pose. So when you come down onto your spine, <clears throat> shoulder blades have a little bit of that pull together, those middle traps, but it's not exclusive. They're not going crazy. We'll do palms face down. Maybe you can touch your heels, maybe not, doesn't matter. When you're ready, just inhale, lift your hips. And we'll do a few just in the flow. So lucky number five today. Exhale, we tap down. Inhale, we lift the hips. So first you're kind of waking up that butt. That booty. Soft neck. Long deep breaths. I think we're on four. Ish. So one more and then we'll hold at the top. We'll hold at five. If this puts pressure on your knees, walk your feet a little bit more forward. Root down through all 10 toes. And now really think about expanding the belly with your breath. So breathe deep towards the belly. You're in a back bend, so it's hard. So you're working for it. Feel that vastness of your breath. Elevated here like it's on a spotlight, right? It's shining. It's the main star. Last breath, expanding that belly. Once you exhale, lower those hips. Take a couple windshield wipers. We're gonna wake up that butt a little bit more. And then we'll get that core to engage. Then we will move. Of course we are moving. All right, bridge prep, lift up. So of course you make sure your low glutes are on. If you want to touch them, touch them. A little bit of the shoulder blades pulling together. Now your weight's gonna stay in your left leg. So feel your outer left hip pull in. Come to your right tippy toes. And when you're ready, you're gonna reach that right leg off the floor and straight forward. So your thighs are parallel. And you're gonna point your right toes and then flex. Just the right, point, flex. Thighs are parallel with each other, point. There you go, 
Flex, slow core is on, but still deep breaths. Last one, when you're in the flex, reach that right leg all the way up to the sky. Push down into your left outer heel, lift up a little higher. Three, two, left outer hips pulling in. One, set it down. Hug both knees into the chest. A little rocky, rocky. Feet to the floor, slight engagement between the shoulder blades, bridge prep. When you're ready, inhale, lift up. Low glutes on, right outer hip is pulling in, okay? Lift onto those left toes or ball of foot, rather. And when you're ready, the thighs just stay parallel, right? So you pick up that leg, thighs are parallel. Point the toes, flex, point. Try not to let that left hip cave down. Pointing and flexing. Last one. When that ankle is drawing towards you, your toes towards you, lift that leg up higher, straight up to the sky. Right outer hip pulling in, lift a little higher with your hips. Hip extension, three. Wake up your butt, two, one. Release, hug your left knee in, hug your right knee in. Good job, you guys. Hamstrings, hopefully didn't cramp there for you. I wanted to. It didn't, though. All right, legs up to the sky. Thank your quads, thank your hamstrings. Wake them up, just give yourself a little rub down, which doesn't sound great, but you know, whatever. Get that low belly tidy in. Now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna bend your knees so you're at a 90-90, right? You're gonna take your wrists and cross them so your right shin, or sorry, your forearm, the shin of the arm is on top. So my right hand is pressing into my left thigh, left hand is pressed into the right, but the right's on top. Here's how this is gonna work. Here's your core for the morning. You're pressing left hand into right leg, right leg into left. And then you release your right arm, you release your left leg, and you extend them away from each other. That's your exhale, okay? Inhales, bring it back, push, and we keep going with that side five times. The whole time you're pushing left arm into right leg. When you come back, you push hand into leg again. Staying on the same side. Yeah, you guys got it. Can you get that left leg as straight as possible when she goes out? This last one, we hold. So when right arm is away from left leg, Keep pressing with your left arm. Keep pressing with your right leg, get longer. Three, core pulling down, neck relax. Two, one, bring that left leg back in. We go right into it, we switch. Left arm on top, right arm below. So they're crossing at the forearms. Ready? Keep pressing right into left. Let that left arm go, let that right leg go. That's your exhale. Inhale, they touch each other again and push. Try not to let the hips rock, keep going. Try to keep your belly pulling down. You have a low back arch, that's not gonna go away, that would be weird. But don't over arch. Okay, maybe you close the eyes, keep going. Remember that vastness that was in your belly in bridge pose? Can you find it here with the breath? Right, you could find it in a back bend, you can find it in core work. Last one, we hold, arms out, legs out, straighten, breathe, press, 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 release, hug in. <laughs> Take your hands down on their own knees, big toes to touch and just circles. So circle your knees wide together, towards you, away from you. Go the other way. Relax your jaw. Relax your dominant shoulder a little bit. Good. When you hug in, we're gonna cross those shins, lift the head, strengthen those neck flexors, pull that low belly in. If it's in your practice, we're gonna rock up to tabletop. If not, rock to the side. 
and I'll meet you there. Yeah, good. Wake up those wrists again. Come to your tent fingers. Come on to your tippy fingers. Take a couple cat cows here. Exhale to round. Inhale to open. Getting into that spine. Yeah, perfect, you guys. That calf should feel pretty good, that cow, rather, after that core work. Last one. When you're at neutral, palms to the earth, spread those fingers wide. You're going to crawl to the back of your mat. So whatever is the back for you, go that direction. Okay. It's a little gomukhasana crawl with cat-cow. So you're going to hug that right knee in. Okay. Pick it up, set it to the outside so you're at global cross in the legs, and then you take a cat, and then you take a cow. Then we switch, right? Neutral. Pull that left leg out, up, and through. We haven't done this since pine leg days. That's it. Cat, cow with each one. Neutral. Of course, you have to walk your hands forward to make way. Right arm or right leg. Keep going. We're going to the front of the mat. Hands will crawl, little paw. Start to free up those hips from Michelle. Woohoo! Make sure you walk your hands forward before you do it, or you'll feel lopsided. Probably getting to the front of your mat. Some of you are already there. So whenever you get to the place where you're like, yep, I've run out of room, meet me back in regular tabletop and take your down dog. Yeah, down dog is hard with classes. I don't know how people do this. I think I gotta get them fitted. Shimmy, shake. Have a happy Sunday morning down dog. Rock those hips side to side as if that was down dog's purpose. By the vastness of your exhale, not just your inhale. Shake out your head. Bend those knees nice and soft. Gaze forward just enough that you can keep your belly still toned. Step, step the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse that swan dive. Come all the way up. Arms reach. Hands to heart center. Sun citation A, variation. Arms down beside your hips. As your arms pull down, can you get taller through your axial skeleton, through your spine? So arms lengthen, legs get taller, spine gets taller. Then inhale, sweep up. Exhale, maybe those legs stay straight. You know the drill. Your back will tell you. Inhale, halfway. Step back to your first hypo shift plank. Breathe here. Three breaths. Pull in that low abdomen. Is each arm working equally? Maybe you gotta relax the dominant arm. Maybe you gotta pull it into the socket. Good. All the way to the belly. You can do it knees first or full chaturanga. Untuck those toes. What I want you to do from here, take that forehead to the floor. Pull your hands back a little so they're in like your regular chaturanga mode, okay? Lift the hands off the floor, elbows point straight up. Squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other. Engage your thighs, push down through your feet. Forehead can be down or slightly lifted, up to you. One more breath. Plant those hands, from there you get your cobra. Lift up, should feel nice. Downward facing dog. Shake out. Starting to feel the particles settle from the thunderstorm and whatever's going on with you. 
Bend those knees. Look forward just enough that you can keep that core on. Maybe you step with the opposite foot. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Reverse that swan dive. Strong legs. Hands to heart center. One more just like that, but we'll go a little faster. Arms down. Feel that lengthening. When you're ready, sweep up. Maybe lift the upper sternum. Exhale, fold. Halfway, step back with opposite leg. Plank for a breath, a breath count to get your shoulders squared. All the way down to your belly. Same thing, forehead can stay light, slightly lifted or not, untuck the toes. Slide those hands back, lift. This time, really flex your wrists so that your fingers want to lift up higher. Then straighten your elbows back. You still have that work with the wrists. Then bring the hands back almost to the floor, but they're floating. Two more. Reach back. Triceps waking up. Keep breathing. Legs are strong. Last one. Good. Set the hands back down. Take that cobra pose. You should feel even better. Maybe up dog happens on its own. Down dog. Good job. All right, how does down dog feel with your triceps saying, okay, I know what I am now. I know my role. Right leg lifts high. Keep that left hip pulling back. Bend your right knee so your heel comes to your butt. So we're waking up those hamstrings. Then take it through. Back knee comes down. Inhale, sweep up. Right hand to right hip, left arm up and over, just breathe. We're gonna access the side body a lot today. So take note of every angle, maybe you look down and kind of open the back fibers. Maybe you look up and open more of the front fibers, right? Good. Come back up. Little half split slow, fingertips to the floor. Exhale, you bow. Inhale, you bend. You can even take that knee past the ankle if it wants to. Bow and straighten. Ardha Hari Manasana to lunge. I'm trying to keep my back foot down, but you don't have to. I'm just working on that skill lately. Yeah, nice. Next time you're bent in, plank pose, tuck those toes. If you're ready for that full chaturanga, chaturanga. Back bend, down dog. Spreading towards the knuckles, finding that thumb and index finger, pinky not spreading too wide, thumb not spreading too wide. It's usually the middle three that get jammed together, maybe spread those. Left leg lifts. Outer right hip pulls back. Heel to butt. Step it through. Back knee comes down. You can pat her if you need to. Lift up. Feel your lungs. Left hand to left hip. Right arm goes up and over. I take this necklace off. Breathe. So notice if you want to open more the front fibers of the ribs or the back fibers. You can feel that pretty well here when you're that stable. Yeah, nice. Find a fiber that's just dying for some space. Come back up. We'll do that half split flow, fingertips to the floor. I'm gonna widen or lengthen. Untuck the back toes and go from there. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lunge. Again, knee can go past the ankle. Happens every time you go down a flight of stairs. Or should. Keep going. Let that left outer hip sing for you. The back of the hip. Front of the hip. Bend into front knee. Second full chaturanga if you want it. We come slightly forward. Don't pinch the elbows in. Give space to breathe. 
Back bend, child's pose. Arms reach forward, maybe turn your palms up, thumbs out. Yeah. And rock a little bit if you like. A little bit more booty work. Press your shins into the earth, feel your butt engaged just to do that. Turn your palms face down. Inhale, slide those hands towards you as you come towards your tabletop. Good. When you're ready, if you need to pad that right leg, pad that back leg. Left leg goes back. Now, if you can do this one arm, that would be super sweet. Bring that right hand to that right hip like we did in that lunge pose. You're going to think about a circle tracing with your big toe. Whatever direction is fine, but a small circle like a volleyball. Nothing else changes. Now, I'd love to be able to access this in Warrior Three later. So really find maybe even now a tennis ball, but going the same direction, make it smaller. Because that's the one you'll want in Warrior Three. Then go the other direction. You can start with a volleyball. Make sure your hips are talking to each other through core. Or maybe it's tennis ball shape. And you straighten that leg. Good. Now keep it lifted. I know you're starting to shake. You're going to tap that right big toe. Sorry, left big toe all the way to the right. And then all the way out to the left. Right? Whatever you have space for. Keep that leg straight. Try not to move your hips. Yeah, perfect. I see you guys. Perfect. Last one. Right, so it goes out to the left. You are done, child's pose, just to stretch out that butt, whatever side or style of child's pose rather you want. Nice. Thank you, left butt, for getting me from A to B, for getting me to self-realization. Maybe that's the butt's job. Just kidding. Tables up. So if you want to do this with your left hand on the floor, you've got to go back and forth a few times. That's fine, okay? So right leg goes back. I'm going to point my toes. Turn on that core. Left hand comes to left hip. When you're ready, whatever direction you want, it's like a volleyball. Try not to move anything else. Really tidy, but breathe. Right hand almost going clockwise, so rotate it a bit. Tennis ball, tinier, might be harder. Soft eyes, reverse the direction, volleyball. Check your core. Tennis ball. You're like, I didn't know we were going to do some Pilates today. Yoga Pilates. Good. Now we tap. Tap all the way to the left. All the way to the right. So keep your center. Tap. Tap. Leg as straight as you can. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Perfect, you guys. Neck is relaxed. Last one. You end by tapping to the right. Down dog to stretch out the butt. You might want to pedal on that one. Whew. All right, a little flow to get into that inner leg line. It is weird. Take your time with it. Left leg lifts high. We'll stick with that one. Heel comes to butt. Now, when you step it through, we're going into a lateral lunge. So you're only going to take your left leg halfway, so your toes point out to the left. You exhale, reach the arms toward the butt back like puppy pose. We bring it right back, three-legged duck. We switch. Nothing fancy, it's just getting into the inner leg. Right leg lifts, heel to butt. You come halfway forward, right toes point to the right, back knee comes down. Reach butt back, arms forward. Yeah, perfect. Keep going. You come back to tabletop. Three-legged dog. 
your own pace. Do what feels good. You could experiment with taking your knee out a little bit farther, like past the toes. Taking the leg closer or farther. Last set. If your hip pops, don't reach as far forward with your arms, okay? Might not be ready for this yet. Once your right leg's the lateral lunge, you are done with that. Down dog. Sigh out through the mouth. Find that vastness of your breath, that limitlessness. Oh, I said it again, I said it right. Get those calves a little bit. So how you do that is look at your feet. Of course, you wanna weigh the heels down, but now take your heels just a little bit wider. Now see if you can set the heels further down. Get those outer calf lines. Think pinky toe all the way up to your sacrum. Good. Feet back to normal. This is the first time if you want to hop or step either way. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Reverse that swan dive. Come on up. I don't think you can see my wrist here. I'll come low. Right hand, you stay high. Right hand takes left wrist. Go over to the right. Yeah. Breathe. Same thing as in the lunge. Do you want to look down and open the back fibers? Or do you want to look up and open the front fibers? Other side. Check it out. Left hand goes right, go to the left. Find your fibers. Like the like cable wires, open up all the communication lines. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands to the heart, close the eyes. Five counts to the inhale, just like at the beginning. Five counts on the exhale. Check in, is there anywhere you don't feel limitless or vast? So even though our muscles are engaged now and awake, can you still feel that they're not grippy? Don't grip your butt, just feel that you have it. Chair pose, Utkatasana, you decide the width that works for your body, okay? We're gonna do some work with the arms here. So remember when we did that version where you were kind of in like chaturanga prep? So let's take those wrists into that same position. Arms should be in line with kind of like your back ribs, okay? So as you exhale, I want you to take the arms back, get that tricep extension, and then inhale, come back to chaturanga arms. Three more. Send the weight to the heels, the outer heel. The last one, we hold in tricep extension. So reach it back, okay? Now point the thumbs down so the palms face each other. You're still in tricep extension. Fingers start to come towards each other, Hakini Mudra. You can touch the fingertips. Three, pull the shoulder heads back. Interlace your fingers forward, full bow. Yay! Chill out. One more breath. Soft neck. Hands to the earth. Yogi's choice. If you want it for the first time, you can hop back into Chaturanga. You can take a regular flow or any variation we've worked with. Meet you in the down dog. Okay, so we're gonna start to go into more of the cardio version, where we repeat a sequence over and over, okay? We'll start in increments. Let's switch to right leg, because you know it's gonna happen eventually anyway. 
Right leg this side. Heel to butt. Step it through. Okay, so we're gonna lunge. Let's inhale, come on up. So the first step in this, besides just coming into a lunge, okay, is gonna be reaching it back, just like you did in your chair pose. So it's almost basically chair, we just sweep that leg back, okay? Now you're gonna bend your back knee, and the exhale breath is gonna be your transition to arms back up. Your inhale breath is gonna be cactus the arms, maybe straighten the back leg, that's the inhale, okay? Exhale is gonna be palms and arms towards each other. We're gonna turn it towards the back of the room. That's it. Lunge. Okay, so it's exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, that back knee's bent, right? You reach up. Cactus, inhale. Maybe that back leg straightens, that's inhale. Exhale, arms come towards each other. You go to the other side. So you're just playing. You might not match the other person on your gallery screen, and that's okay. Just make sure that inhale is when you do the cactus. That's what I really want you to feel. The exhale is the switch. Keep going. If you miss a detail, it's okay. Maybe it's not your detail today. Just suggestions. Keep going. Maybe slow it down, maybe speed it up. It's your last set, okay? And we'll add on after a break. You might feel like, oh, I'm getting more malleable. Okay, I get this. Once you're at the back of the mat, we'll come back through goddess squat. So from that left leg being your forward leg, we'll meet in a goddess rock. Yeah, pull in that low belly. Good, maybe relax your shoulders like we did at the beginning. Hands to the thighs, then we'll take those rinses. You guys know this one well, right? So you go left shoulder forward, right shoulder, it's a little twist, not aggressive. Come back to a nice, vast breath. So right now that you notice there's like a toenail on your mat, right? But you know it's yours because you're home. It's actually probably my kids. <sighs> Gross. Good, we start with the left shoulder, so end with the right. Now we'll add on. So you're still in goddess. I know you're feeling it. Hands behind the head for the first time. Just five sets, so 10 times. Tap. Right elbow, sorry, left elbow. I'll mirror you. Come back up. Tap. Come back up. Oblique work. The breath is up to you. You can literally exhale to go to the side or exhale to come back. They both make sense. So find your outer heels. Turn on those low glutes. Not just those quads. Lengthen your inner thighs, last set. Once you've done the right, come back up, straighten the legs, toes in, heels out, interlace those fingers right into the easy way. Cross arena. Breathe. Remember, you're not here to serve the pose in any way. The pose is serving you to remind you Hands to the earth. Walk it back to that right leg, the front of the mat. Full crescent, inhale, sweep up. We're adding on. So let's go through that one more time with the add-ons. So you're gonna go back. So this can be exhale. 
Okay, so let's do this as inhale now, because we're taking out a step. So it's inhale, arms back. Exhale will be a strong engagement up. Then your inhale is still elbows bent. Maybe that back leg is straight as it can get now. So now we're going to take it into a standing balance, warrior three. How, here's how we're going to get here. You take the arms together, just like we've been doing. That's your exhale. But we're not going to pivot. Arms reach back. Lift off that leg, warrior three. Hands to the heart. Come out of warrior three. Left knee into the chest. Like you're going to take figure four, but you don't. Like you're going to take dancer pose, but you don't. One more each side. Reach the same thing. Like you're going to take figure four. Like you're going to take dancer. Okay. Step it back. Lunge. Okay. Exhale, reach it back. This time, hands to the inside of the foot. We walk it from there. Go to the back of the room. Okay. I'll walk you through it again. So it's low lunge, meaning arms are back, spine is forward. Maybe you bend that back knee. Your exhale is come up. Your inhale is cactus. Your exhale is take it back with the arms. Warrior three, kick up that back leg. Hands to the heart, like you're gonna take figure four, but it hovers. Like you're gonna take dancer, hover. One more, figure four. Dancer, lunge, arm back. Sorry, I was supposed to go arms back. Hands to the inside, walk it back forward. Does that make sense, guys? I think we do it a couple more times, okay? So it's arms back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, arms go back. Lift that back leg. Warrior fruit. We're not going to add the circles yet. You got one more time without it. Almost figure four. Almost dancer. I'm tapping my heels with my fingertips. You don't have to. But it might be a good chest stretch. Send it back. Low lunge. Hands to the earth. Walk to the back of the mat. Last time, just like this. Arms back. Exhale brings you up so it's strong. Inhale. Exhale. Arms go back. Lift off, warrior three. Square those hips. Hands to heart center, almost figure four. Almost dancer. Almost figure four. Almost dancer. Send it back, arms go back. Hands to the earth, take a pause. Cross Rita with a different arm variation. You can grab your ankles. You can clasp behind the head. You can do down dog arms if you want. All we're adding, okay, this is your last one, right and left. We're adding five tennis ball circles one way, and then the other in warrior three, okay? <laughs> That's it, although we'll see what it feels like. Okie dokie, hands under the shoulders. Here we go. We're starting low lunge at the right. Walk it forward. So your last standing stuff, okay? It's exhale up. Inhale, cactus. Maybe that back leg is straight, okay? Take it back. Now from here, it's warrior three. You can do hands to heart center, whatever you need. Tennis ball, so tiny. Three one way. Turn on that core. Three the other way. I mean five. Ooh, I was trying to go three. Now, knee into the chest. Almost figure four. Almost dancer. Keep going. Core tidy, breathful. Lunge pose, arms reach back. Last one, walk to the back of the mat. Here we go. Arms back, that's your inhale. Exhale, come all the way up. Try and straighten that leg on the inhale when you take that chest widener. Arms reach back so you get that diagonal. Warrior three. Point the toes. Tennis ball circles. You need to hold your hips or hold your core. Five the other way. 
Once you've done five and five, knee into chest. Almost figure four. Almost dancing. Almost figure four. Oh, I looked at the camera, that was a bad idea. Almost dancing. Lunge, stay low. Walk it back, prosarita. Third time's a charm. Different variation, maybe you grab opposite elbow. We'll come back to a breath count. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. One more. Nice. Hands to the earth. Opposite with the feet. Just a little simple skandhasana flow. We're getting into that inner leg line now again. So you can reach it over towards the right and then towards the left. So this is such a personal pose, right? Knees, ankles, hips. You might stay high. You might go all the way down, heel towards the butt, towards the heel. So the leg that's straight, you're gonna lift that foot, so just the heel's on the floor. So the heel will be pointing down, the toes up. Yeah, perfect. With or without the hands. Okay. Now, that's the same pattern, but we're going to make it more about strength. So straighten both legs, hands to the hips. Your toes are still turning out. Come upright, okay? Find your stance. Hands at the heart. We're going to keep the torso upright now, so totally different. You're going to bend into that right knee and lift the toes on the left, right? Try and keep from going forward. Now on the exhale, really push up strongly so both feet then come to the floor. Just side to side. So keep the torso upright. The exhale pushes you back up. Then the foot finds the floor. Keep going. I'm gonna bring one hand behind my back so I remember not to arch. So if you find that you're arching, Try that. Come up on the exhale. Find your outer heel to sacrum, or outer heel to pubic bone, sacrum, sorry. Big toe to pubic bone. Last set. Start going to the right. So end with the left. Good, now here's what I want from you. Turn towards the front of your mat. Get ready for pyramid pose. Right leg forward, left leg back. Back toes turn slightly. If you wanna take the full version with reverse namaste, you can. We're just gonna get that hamstring one more time. So stillness after movement is nice, but it's difficult. I'm going to bring my right thumb to my right hip crease. Pull it back ever so gently. Feel the vastness of the right hip, the right hamstrings. Good. Now, hands come to the earth. Pivot your back foot so it's a lunge leg. Back knee comes to the earth. Okay. You're going to walk your hands back. Walk your foot back, untuck the back toe. So I'm gonna try and sit down, and if you wanna put a brick here, you can. So you sit down on the inside of the foot. So your left foot is just right outside your hip. If you're like, Melanie, I can't do that. You could stay up on your tippies, or you could put that block right under the butt, okay? No torsion in the ankle. If you have the idea to walk back, like if that feels good, you can even take your arms wide. We're gonna need this skill. So I just want you to see how that left quad is doing. Some of you might come all the way down to your forearms. You might be able to come all the way down, but I don't want you to cool off. So stay a little bit engaged in the belly. Push down through your shin. 
three. Not difficult, probably, maybe. Two. One. Okay. Back to your hands. Now, all we're going to do is you'll probably turn towards the side of your mat. So, uh, depending on where you're facing in the room, I'm going to take my left leg and spin it back. So, now my right leg can go all the way out long on the mat. So, I'll go to this side. Left leg is still bent. Right leg is like your skandasana leg. So heel is down, toes are pointing up, okay? Now you maybe have done this version before, maybe you haven't. So you're going to take that right arm, reach it out to, towards your right leg, okay? Then you're going to thread it under and see if you can take your hand, turn it palm face down, and grab the back of your left ankle. So as you do that, just like before, you're going to sit down, so you're actually sitting on your hand, so your hand is holding your ankle in the back, okay? Your knee is bent, your right leg is straight, you're going to see if you can reach up and over and take hold of that right leg. If you're like, crazy sauce, I can't sit on my hand, just take it out and put it on the top of the thigh, okay? But it might be a nice addition to have it on your ankle. Do you want to open the back fibers by looking down? Or the front fibers by spinning up? Good. Let's see. Breathe. The count of five. Active but expansive. Limitless. Last breath. Release that left hand. Release that right hand that's buried. Right leg goes so you're in shin box. Foot is touching your left quad. Left leg didn't change. Hands to the heart. Can you come up into a hip thrust so you're on your right shin? Okay. Right hand to the hip. Reach that left arm up and over. Squeeze your right inner thigh muscles. Three. Little back bend, two, one. Left hand to the floor, right hand to the floor. Malasana squat, so right leg goes back, tuck your toes, malasana. You can just stay high, stay high. Close your eyes. Just notice the energies, right side, left side, front, back, in seam, out seam. All of it. Downward facing dog. Shake out the head, open and close the jaw a few times. Breathe. All right. So we just truly start with that pyramid pose. We'll just lift that left leg. Step that left leg through. So back foot pivots. I'm a little wider than heel and heel. I'm gonna come all the way up first just to make sure I have that right setup. So if you wanna take reverse namaste, you can. Get those legs nice and strong, core nice and hugged. And when you're ready, forward fold. So much to notice, so you pick. And the pose is here for you. Is it a hamstring day? Is it a breath day? Spinal extension? What do you need? You need freedom in a shoulder? Relax that shoulder. Good. Last breath. You turn your back foot once your hands are on the floor so it's a lunge, back knee comes down. Now, again, you can put a block there, but you're going to untuck your back toes, walk your left leg closer, and you're going to start to slowly descend with or without the hands to the inside of the foot. You can stay up higher or sit on a brick. You're just right to the inside. I'll actually pivot so you can see me. <clears throat> Top of the foot's on the floor. You can come back, you can go arms wide. 
and come on to elbows. Getting that leg ready for that next shape. My right quad's a little bit tighter today, so I'm gonna take my right hand and actually hold it on my thigh. To feel some extra potential. Strengthening the neck flexors. Trying to relax these big guys on the sides, those sternocleidal mastoids. So can you find your deeper neck flexors? And relax those ropey guys. It's hard. Not the easiest place to do it in, but you might find something. Good. Now, again, we're gonna come up slowly. Okay, so that's gonna be the same leg right? That's in that same shape. So depending on where you're at on the mat, I'm going to spin when I'm facing the long edge, okay? If you're like, oh, I'm going to take my leg off the mat, you can turn a little bit, okay? So you straighten that left leg out all the way. I'll do it to the side. Left leg is straight like that Skandasana leg. You're going to reach that left arm out to the side. So that you're going to thread the needle, and then you thread the needle, but you reach Turn your palm down, grab the back of the ankle, right by the Achilles, okay? It's gonna feel like you can't sit on it, but you'll notice you can. So all of a sudden, when you take your hips back, your butt goes right behind your arm, right? Reach that right arm up and over, and see if you can take hold of your foot, your head. Straight leg, perhaps, doing a spin down or forward. Can't worry. Foot active, calf stretch, perhaps. Yeah, you guys, beautiful. We're gonna come out through shin box. So take that right arm out. And lift that butt, take your left arm out. Right leg stays, left leg bends, so it's almost like a pigeon leg, right? You can do it handsless or with hands. Hop up like a little hip thrust. So your foot's really tidy with your thigh, okay? You reach that left arm up and over. Could be right arm too, honestly. I forgot what we did. Either way works, could be both. Up to you. Lift that upper sternum. A little bit of low booty action. Good. Tidy in, use that belly, hands to the earth. My last in a squat. <sighs> Anything you want to do here, if you want to take a bind, if you want to walk the malasana, you want to stay and just breathe. Good job, you guys. Good. When you're ready, get down to your back. Hug those knees into the chest. I took you right to the end here, didn't I? Side to side. If you have the space, take your arms out wide, palms face up. Legs back at that 90, 90 degrees, just like when you did core at the beginning, but it's a little wind down. So legs go halfway to the right. Press the left shoulder. Come back up. Halfway to the left. Couple more. At your own pace, try and relax your neck muscles. Do it with your shoulders. Good job, you guys. I forget the name of that last pose you did. It's like Triang, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll send it to you. Not like it matters. But hopefully it opened up some part of your breathing, remembering what you're capable of. Good, last one. Start going to the right, I believe. 
and going to the left. Happy baby. Ananda Balasana. Close your eyes. You can either hold the outer feet or I kind of like the inner heels. I just cup those inner heels. Feel the expansion of your collarbones. Stretch in the glutes. Bring the hands to the outer shins. Draw the leggies together. Hug in, lift that head again as much as you can. Can you relax those really ropey muscles of by your deep neck flexors? Feet to the floor. Head to the floor, windshield wiper. Nice. You can make this as wild or as tidy as you want. Wherever the arms want to go. Oh, two more sets. And then we'll just pause on the floor briefly. So if that means your knees are bent, knees together, if that means you go out long, take a full body stretch. Or even legs up the wall. Slow down your breath. We've only really done five and five. So can you take that inner count to six or seven? Breathe into the tissues of the back body. I can feel that despite all the obstacles we are at in this juncture of time, you're exactly where you need to be. Melt the skin, relax your shoulders, relax those ankles, those wrists, every muscle of the face. That inner dristy goes to the heart space. Limitless inspiration for your Sunday. Stoke it with the breath, let the color get more vibrant or allow it. Start to take whatever movements will guide you to bent knees and roll into a side. We want to stretch first or a hug. Meet you in a seat when you're ready. Hands to heart center. 
a little bit of movement in a lot of places, still one of my favorite yoga quotes. So simple, so connectable. Scan your body and feel that you're prepared, awake, and lovely. Thank you for sharing your practice on the mat this Sunday morning. It's my honor to guide you. Namaste.